There is a lot of good music coming to the historic Chico Women's Club in September, and the first show is this Saturday, September Oops. 1st, of course. Yep. Joining us with details, Rick Anderson with Chico Concerts, the man that makes it all happen. Thanks for being with us you today. Look, how do we do this? We, I don't mat, know, we, we match. always match. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. My, great. my wife dresses me. Does she? Well, there She's you go. Hawaiian, great so, minds yeah. think alike, Anyways. right? <laughs> the, the first show is Sunday, September 1st. Sunday, not Saturday. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. It's a, a country duo, Logan Ledger and Jeremy Pinnell. It's going to be a sit-down show, acoustic. They've got great country roots and, and wonderful, beautiful songwriting. So it's, mm. going to be, it's going to be a nice show. Uh, we've got blues coming in the middle of the month. Mark Hummel, Bay Area blues guy, plays harmonica. He's got a great band. Anson Funderburg on guitar plays okay. with him. Oh. He's, he's a okay. mouthful, but he's a great name, great name, and a uh, wonderful guitar player. And he has a new CD coming out, too. Grammy nominated. Mark Hummel is great. Uh, later in the month, at the end of the month, on the 28th, that is that is Saturday night, Okay. Madeline Hawthorne, who uh, happened to open for Lucas Nelson at the uh, Senator earlier this year. Okay. Wonderful new artist, great voice, great songwriting, and a band called Goodnight Texas, who are country rock, are going to get you moving and grooving. Okay. And All of this happens yeah. at the, the wonderful Women's Club. If you haven't had a chance to attend a concert there, it's really great. Yeah. You mentioned the one Sunday is a, is a sit-down, but yeah. usually there's opportunity oh, yeah. on the on the side sure. or on the back. You can move yeah. around a yeah, little. Yeah, you can dance. And, yeah, absolutely. And dance. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. it's a great place to attend a concert and support, you know, a treasure in right. our community. Absolutely. That's, it's, it's a community venue, let's put mm -hmm. it that way. It mm -hmm. really is, and it's a wonderful place to see a show. Uh, we came in third in the Chico News and Reviews, uh, best place to see a live show. So okay, thanks for okay. everybody voting for that. And, and you have some stiff competition in terms of some of the bigger venues. Yeah, so, yeah, you know. yeah. The barn <laughs> and uh, the big room. <laughs> but anyways, and there's a show tonight, too. Okay, you you yeah. mentioned it tonight. It's in Paradise at Paradise Performing Arts Center. Tommy Castro's in town. And then uh, later on in November, John Craigie. Okay. On November 17th is at Paradise Performing Arts Center. Which is also a wonderful venue. Another venue, venue yeah. Wonderful non venue. Non-profit, yeah. Um, and so you just keep them coming down the pike, don't you? Yep. I mean, really. Absolutely. Always reaching out and yep. trying to bring in new acts. And, of course, your your whole right. history of employment has been in the music business. Absolutely, so, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, right. so, a, a, we're really lucky in this town, I feel that like. That helps, yeah, it does. Now, um, people, uh, for the shows at the Women's Club, the, mm -hmm. usually the doors open at 6.30. Correct. Music yep. starts at 7.30, and yep. uh, wrapping up usually by 10 or 10.30 at uh, night. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty close yeah. to that. Do you recommend people get their tickets ahead of time? Uh, that would be great. It helps me to know how many people are going to be there, how to judge what kind of concessions we need to have, and stuff mm -hmm. like that, too. Mm -hmm. So that is, it is helpful. Yep. And we do have a link I wanted to mention at uh, actionnewsnow.com. If you head to news and then click on news links. We have a link to where you can buy your tickets and learn more about all of these concerts. Thank you, Great. Rick, for You're being welcome. with us. Thanks, Linda. We sure appreciate it.